I have discovered that penguins do in fact have knees. But do you know what they don't have? Teeth. <laughs> What's up, Titans? It's Thursday, December 16th, and you're watching Titan Morning Announcements. My name is Quigley, and we have a very special show for you guys. But before we get into our announcements, did you know that when penguins were first discovered, they were called strange geese? I guess it's just their uncanny resemblance. This is your annual reminder to not eat the yellow snow. Do not be fooled by its delicious salty tang. I know we've all made the same mistake. If you see a large man climbing into your window, do not call the police. That is probably Santa and you should be grateful. Are you single this holiday season? Extend an invitation to your local elf. They will be available in the auditorium tomorrow after school. No one will hype you up like a short king will. Teachers, please make sure to do a clean sweep of your rooms before you leave for break tomorrow. We want to make sure Jared Joven doesn't get stuck in the school over winter break again. The winter solstice this year has been canceled. In response to global warming, Mother Nature has decided to not make it cold, thus making December 22nd irrelevant. Which brings me to our next announcement. Titans, if you want snow this winter, or a winter at all for that matter, come meet up with the We're Up to Snow Good Club, their name, not ours, at the rooftop garden every day during winter break. They will be doing various snow rituals such as putting a spoon under their pillow, wearing their pajamas inside out, flushing ice down the toilet, and chanting to the snow gods. Hopefully Mother Nature will hear them. Do you need a new book to read this winter break? Well, lucky for you, we have found a brand new book for your winter boredom. Dad, what are you doing? It's three in the morning. Shh. It's time for a bedtime story. I'm 18, I don't need a bedtime story. It's not just any bedtime story. It's a winter bedtime story. Perfect for the first day of winter break which I would like to spend sleeping. Tonight's book is called Little Timmy and His Hat. Did you make that yourself? Little Timmy and His Hat by a very real author. Little Timmy loves his hat. Little Timmy likes to go outside in his hat. Uh-oh, Little Timmy. Looks like the wind got your hat. Little Timmy chases his hat. Little Timmy passes through the seven layers of the candy cane forest, through the sea of the swirly, twirly gumdrops, and walks through the Lincoln Tunnel. Isn't that just the story of Elf? Shh. Once out of the tunnel, Little Timmy finds himself in New York City. Far, far away from the little town he grew up in, Little Timmy looks around, scared of all the new sights and sounds. Little Timmy, look! It's your hat! Watch out, Little Timmy! Little Timmy lies unconscious on the pavement. Oh no, Little Timmy! Boy, if you don't hush, I'm gonna give you a Krampus himself. Little Timmy wakes up without any memory of who he was or where he came from. Little Timmy finds a nice TV rat to take him in. Years later, after being raised by the TV rats his whole life, Little Timmy is now the CEO of a very successful hat company. Little Timmy gets a call from his secretary. Little Timmy's parents are dead. The end. I have some notes. I didn't ask. How did Little Timmy walk all the way to New York City? Who hit Little Timmy? What is a TV rat? Why were his parents relevant to the story at all? How does a person know to call the secretary? And wouldn't he just be pronounced missing? Okay. You have a nice night.
you need to get to bed. Wait! Copies of Little Timmy and His Hat will be sold in the library for seven easy payments of $73.58. I also heard from the grapevine there's a sequel movie coming out soon. Well, Titans, that's all we have for you today. By the way, some penguins are actually gay. Hey, that rhymes. Have fun with Nick and Helen tomorrow, but between you and me, I'm sure you've had more fun with me. Alrighty, Titans, I'll see you when I see you.